What's up? So, this is the month of March, and I've got the Pro Mystery Tackle Box for March. The Pro version. Let's uh, go ahead and open this and get into it. So, box here, got our little uh, tips and tricks, dibbles. First off, got our new sticker. Check it out, I like this. It's uh, it like knuckle tattoos. Okay, Sean, I dig it. I don't like tattoos, but I do like this sticker with tattoos. That's pretty cool. I have to put that on my... Uh, Water jug. All right, it says here. Let's start from the bottom. Lure split tail trailers. There we go. We got some split tail trailers. Or uh, small little guys there. Seems like there's quite a few in there. Little plastic bag here. Pull one out. You got some uh, ridges in there. Imagine they flow through the water pretty good. Kind of small, real thin. Be a small hook for those guys there. Pretty tiny. Might be good for smallmouth. Maybe some bass or a largemouth bass. So that's a split tail trailers. It says this package goes for $229. And I think they got five of them in there. So there's five in this package. If I saw this in the store for $229 for five of these, I probably would not go for it. But I, I, I'm not using anything like this. My guess. I, I mean, I might try them, but we'll see. Hard hat jig excavator. So maybe these are supposed to be used on that. I don't know. They seem kind of big to be using those uh, split tails. But these would be good for some different kind of baits for sure. I like to use these with uh, Cinco's and stuff. Pretty good looking hook. Looks like you thread one on right there and hook it. And then it should sit right there like that in the water. So maybe we'll run across something here in a minute and I'll set it up. Not bad. I do like those. It says hard hat jig excavators will always stand up when called on. The compact jig head can fit into tight spots and is hypersensitive. Huh. Not too bad. Those are going for $3.99 for two of them. So next on the list, Northern Tackle Impulse Dipstick. Okay, so it says here, Northern Tackle Impulse Dipstick. So these say supercharged impulse reactionary baits. Northern fishing tackle. So this pack right here is $579. Quite a bit of them in there. Four, eight. So I've not used this brand before, but there they are. It's Pretty much a Cinco. Got a little split there. Now these we can more likely use on this hook here like I was saying earlier. That spring. Looking do that on there, you can screw this on there. See if I can't set this up real quick.
hook's pretty sharp. And then you got it sprung on there. Then you can take the hook. And there you go. Got a little bit of a... So then you should be able to hang it there and it should be able to hang up in the air for you and up in the water there like that. Seemed pretty long. So those, that pack is $5.79. I don't think I've ever seen this pack before. I've been to a few bait shops. I don't think I've seen these. But that's kind of high priced. I don't think I pay that much for my normal Senkos. But next is the Carl's Amazing Bait Spinner Bait. I love spinner bait. My favorite stuff to use. It's a good color for down here in the south. Yellow and white <clears throat> with a golden chrome blade. It's a half ounce. This bait is about $5.99. Pretty nice looking setup. Got your little uh, hooks to hold your plastic on there. That should be a should be a good hitter right there. Not bad. And I said this was $5.99. So far, it seems like a decent box. Not too bad. <clears throat> Next is a Savage Gear 3D Minnow, $7.99. That would be this guy right here. Real 3D scan. Huh. The hooks aren't even attached. Ready to paint. So I'm rolling, flanking, action, slow floating, horizontal balance, click and rattle. YouTube Savage Gear. I guess it's a YouTuber Savage Gear. Have to look it up. Doesn't seem too bad. I don't have a tool for the hooks. I never have really purchased that. I don't. Heck, I lose my baits so much, I don't even have the time to mess with their hooks on them. But these are definitely not attached. It looks like just to use this one, I'm going to have to go get some... You got that front lip right there wrapped up, so I guess you're supposed to paint it. They got the dipper there wrapped in plastic, so you don't get it painted, and you can paint the fish. And that's why the hooks aren't on there, so you can paint it. <clears throat> I'm not really into painting my baits. I don't got time for all that. <clears throat> I'd rather just go out and fish. But, uh, I don't know if I ever get to this one or not. Said so that one is uh, $7.99. So, we'll move on to the next one. Lunker Hunt Lunker Frog. I've had some of these before. Not bad. A little white frog. A little hopping action to them, looks like. Makes the legs extend out when you pop it. So it looks just like a frog without the without the tassels. You just got the legs instead of the tassels. I don't remember. I don't think I got one of these. So you get that action out of it when you yank it across the water. It should 
pop his legs out, looking like he's hopping frog. White one. Very sharp hooks. I love frog fishing. Frog fishing with frogs are my favorite. Uh, mainly because you're on top of water, you're taking your time popping it, and when they come up, they just blow up on that frog. It's so fun. I don't even want to take my eye off the bait because I'm afraid I'll miss the actual bite. And when they come up and they bite that, man, it's such a rush. On the kayak, I really liked it a lot. It seemed like I was really close to the action on the kayak. And man, blowing up the water is just awesome. I'll definitely give this one a try, try out. I, li I do like these. It's not a bad bad bait. Eight twenty nine. I know they're pretty expensive. Eight twenty nine. That's not bad. Seems like a quite a bit of stuff in this box. A little bit better than I have seen in the last few boxes. So our, for our last one is a Jinko Fishing Trapline Rip Knocker. $8.99. So, move some stuff around here. All right, pretty much a lipless bait. And the hooks are also not installed on this one either. Hunter, no. Sit. Sit. So here's this lipless crank with no hooks. I've never, never really bought no baits with the hooks not installed. So I don't get the purpose of that. I mean, I know a lot of people switch out their baits and as soon as they get them, they take the hooks off and they immediately put on their own hooks. Can't get the hook out of this one. Looks like it only comes with one hook, too. It... it absolutely does not have any... anywhere to even hook the hooks to. Got a hole there and a hole in the bottom. Don't even have a spot to tie it on. Don't have a spot in the back. <clears throat> so I'm not <clears throat> really sure how you're supposed to do that one. So it says it's designed by Colton Jennings. Maybe I'll turn this back over with some hooks or something. Yeah. With literally one hook with a ring on it and that's it so one hook and a ring and nothing else and that hole because maybe i'm missing something maybe this is okay i i guess this is a new technique i didn't realize that um, or maybe it's not new, maybe it's just new to me, which, like I said, I'm still a new fisherman to a lot of this stuff, and it's kind of one of the things I like about this box, and then this, this one offers, this box actually offers some new stuff that I'm not used to, like painting my own lure, right, you know, doing my hooks, I've never done that. So this method is, I guess you would throw a line through the top and run it through the bottom, and then... You would tie the hook. Okay, let me try this again. So, my video messed up. It shut off on me somehow. I didn't realize it. But, uh, back to this guy here. The trap line. So, what I was saying is, there's a hole through the top that goes all the way through the bottom. So, what you do is you drop a line through the top, out the bottom, and you tie the treble hook on. So, 
when you're fishing with this, it should sit up like this. The hook will stay hidden from grass and all that. And you can pull it through because you ain't got no hook back here. So it's less to snag. And if the fish bites it, it hooks the fish's mouth. And what they do with these lipless cranks a lot, they jump out of water and when they go to shake, they can shake this heavy lipless crank and, and use the leverage to unhook their mouth. So with this setup, they can throw this down the line, but the hook stays hooked, making you have longer, uh, letting you have more hook sets. So it's pretty neat. I just learned out about this bait. I didn't, never heard of it, never knew nothing about it. Uh, it should be interesting to use. I definitely go through a lot of grassy areas, so I'm, this is probably going to be my little go-tos here now. Shouting this out real soon. So, overall, I, I really like this March box a lot. It's got that new lure there. It's got one I can paint. I guess I can play with that. Uh, I'm going to have to get some pliers to do the hooks on there. So... So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to maybe paint that one and get some pliers to do the hooks. Uh, this box here, I, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this box. Uh, I've been fighting myself whether to keep this going or try something new or try different boxes, but it seems like every month they're just starting to drag me back in and where I'm starting to like it again. Uh, one of the things that's interesting about this box is it's got some things I'm not used to, like painting the lure or uh, setting this different hook set up here <clears throat> may not be new to you guys, but it's new to me. I definitely think it's a different, definitely different. I uh, <clears throat> had to read the package. Sorry, I got can't clear my throat for some reason. But uh, I, I think this box really, really was nice. I was really impressed. Uh, December not too great. January I was really upset with. February, March. I've been pretty happy with so uh, I went fishing a little bit today just for a quick little minute I haven't had a lot of time so the weather's starting to get warm it should be up in the 70s this during this week so I might get out there and do a little bit definitely might definitely take it out and try it so if you guys have any comments please give me a comment like subscribe I, I really like your comments especially on this fishing stuff there's some things I didn't know and some of you guys have commented some stuff that was new to me and, and I was able to learn something from you guys so if you guys have anything to say about anything on here please say something uh, I, I enjoy learning about this stuff like I said I'm, I'm still just a baby bass fisherman I'm still learning I've probably only been doing this about four years but I'm really into it pretty deep uh, if you have anything you want to ask or whatever ask me I can help out but other than that I appreciate you guys thanks that's it